Uh, have you ever wondered how you should prep a very and overly oily skin? Um, I think you should not worry no more because I got you covered today. Okay, guys, so my name is Ifi Artistry. If this is your first time seeing my videos, you're highly welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming here. Okay, guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to prep an overly oily skin because my client here today has an excessively oily skin like like there is a lot of oils on her face when I touched it. Okay guys, so first of all, you begin with cleaning the face. This is the first step. Make sure you clean, clean away all those oils because oils bring a lot of, like pack a lot of dirt on the skin. After that, you go in with the uh, tire toner. So I'm going to use the tire toner to remove all the hidden dirt that has been hiding on her pores. It's going to help you remove all of them, all the bacteria, a lot of things because you know, oil packs dirt. Imagine when you have oily skin and you're walking on the road, there's a lot of dust and everything like it packs them so clean them out that is the first thing to do after that i'm going to be going in with the zaron hydrating serum so i'm going to put the serum on this face to help me with like adding a uh, moisturizer it's going to help me retain moisture on this face when i go ahead with putting on her moisturizer guys one thing you should know is that oily skin have to you have to put like you have to build moisturize you have to build hydration let me put it that way on that face make sure you hydrate this face very well but sometimes when working on a very oily skin you be you should be sure not to use an oil based moisturizer you should use a moisturizer that is water based so that it can help you with like hydration and not just like add more oil on the face for any reason a good moisturizer for an oily skin is going to do the job. I'm going to be using the Olay moisturizer. This Olay moisturizer, like, even when I am done blending this moisturizer, I was still feeling like there is no moisture on this face because when there is moisture on the face, I'm going to really feel it. I'm going to really notice it. So I put this moisturizer on the face and I blended it very, very well. Like after blending, I noticed that I don't have like enough. So I have to go in, but only on her under eyes with this my cetaphil moisturizer because you know cetaphil moisturizer has a lot of like it hydrates the face a lot it's an oil based moisturizer and all that so i'm just going to like put it there on in under eyes because like you know that even if you can deal with every other place do not joke with the under eyes okay guys so when i was done with that i have to go in with my um hydro grip primer because you guys know something right this face has oil and you know that oil tends to like distort makeup or like deal with makeup during the day oil is something that can actually spoil your makeup so you have to go in with a good primer to help you hold this makeup at a stay so that it doesn't stop after that i'm going to be going in with my mirror skin prep okay guys so you know one thing um apart from oil i'm ruining the makeup there is equally some heat when heat comes it tends to push out this oils to actually come out so i'm going to equally use that to hold it after that i'm going to be putting on my baker primer guys you know something baker primer is actually a very good primer for mattifying like to mattify the face so this baker primer basically uh, um in all my videos you see me put baker primer only on the t-zones but in this time around i'm going to put the baker primer on her face okay i make sure like i don't just pack it on the face i'm going to put and blend it because this primer is going to help me hold the oil like at least for a very longer period of time before it's going to come out so the oil you have to like come out but it's not going to come out immediately i'm done with the makeup i don't know if you understand me so at least it's going to stay for like at least still six to twelve hours before you or you will start coming out on the face um okay guys so that is it so after that i'm going to be using this um charlotte Tilbury spray is a very good setting spray is a very good hydrating spray so i'm going to use it and spray it all over the face so that it will help me lock in hydration and when the hydration is locked in, and when the hydration is locked in is going to help you retain and keep this makeup at a state during the course of the day so this step is equally very important that you use a very good hydrating spray to lock in your makeup. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.